When you wash your bike with soap and water, it's impossible to completely dry it. The water will accumulate in places that you do not want it to go and stay, such as electrical connections. And often, this will go unnoticed for months or maybe years until you go to disassemble the bike for some other reason later on down the line. Well, the manner in which I clean my motorcycle, I eliminate all of those harmful effects of having water accumulate. Let me show you how I do it. Everything that I use to clean my bike is right here on this rolling chair. And speaking of rolling chair, I will start with that. I bought this specifically to clean my bike because it allows me to just scoot around the whole bike and have everything that I need right there with me underneath on the tray. So as you can see, it has a swivel seat and the tray itself rotates and it's on, seems like heavy duty casters to allow me to whip around. So again, to me, this is what made this job that much easier. I bought this on Amazon, it's made by Traction, and you will see the link in the description. All right, moving on. What else I use? Latex gloves. And these are the wipes, and these are made by Armorall, and I will put a link in the description for these as well. Microfiber cloth. And for the hard to reach areas, long cotton swabs. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I have my latex gloves on and next thing all I need to do is grab one of the wipes. And you will see on the package it has a resealable opening. So it, it comes with this tape. You just peel it up and there's the hole so you can grab the wipe. and then seal it back up and you're good to go. So I will just let you know that I usually go through a few of these while doing my bike. I'm pretty liberal with it because I do not want to use a dirty cloth and be grinding that uh, dirt into the bike, uh, particularly on the areas that, that I'm really picky about. So anyway, so I tend to go through more than maybe most people would just because I'm that picky. I usually start by folding it to give me more uses out of it so then I can basically, when it gets dirty, I'll fold it over and, and then uh, have a clean spot to work with. Now as far as actually cleaning the bike, you know, a traditional method when you use soap and water, you start at the top and work your way down. Uh, I actually do it the opposite, only because I like to start with the dirtiest areas of the bike and get that out of the way so the rest is downhill after that. So for me, starting with the wheels, and particularly the rear wheel, is always the worst. Um, so I will start there, and basically it's just a two-step process. Uh, I wipe with the cleaning cloth, and then I go behind it with a microfiber cloth. And we've got a little friend here. Um, and that's as simple as that. So just as an example, like I said, I would start with the rear wheel. wipe around and you can see how dirty that is. Uh, and then I would do the whole wheel uh, basically um, and get it completely cleaned. And then I would go behind with the microfiber to dry it off. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, you can take the cloth once it gets dirty because again, I do not want to grind all of that dirt in. Uh, particularly later in the more sensitive areas. So I'd just fold it over, get a clean spot. So just to show you in a, a different area, the one that would have a little more shine maybe than a wheel, uh, right up here on the rear fender, I would just wipe that down. And then go right behind it with the microfiber cloth and then just dry it completely with this. And it is as simple as that. And like I mentioned earlier, I also have cotton swabs 
for areas that are hard to reach, which are basically up inside the engine. If there's some areas that I want to get to, I just get the tip of it wet with this and then poke it in there to get what I'm after. And as you can see, it gets that all, uh, gets all the dirt out of there as well. So a lot of you guys have asked me in the comment section below, how do you keep your bike so clean? Uh, well, now you know the secret. I do not use soap and water. I simply use these cleaning wipes, these wash wipes by Armorall and microfiber cloth. And it's as simple as that. Like I mentioned, I try not to complicate things. The whole process, even as meticulous as I am, sometimes with the cotton swabs, I don't think I've ever spent more than maybe 30 to 40 minutes uh, cleaning my bike. So um, it's a very fast thing. And, and I do get very detailed when I get in there. So that was just a quick overview of how I do it, not necessarily how I would do it if I were actually cleaning it uh, to make it as clean as I like it. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, some of you asked, so now you know. There are no other products that I use on the bike. This is it. So if this is something that may work for you and you want to try a different method, uh, hopefully this video helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.